Let's get this started! The first match is a best of five lightweight battle. Competing out of Riverside, California. He stands at six feet, weighs 172 pounds, and has a record of 10 wins and 10 losses. He is one of the young guns of W-A-L, Jamie the Natural Sheldon! <laughs> His challenger is five is tall, weighs 170 pounds, and is competing out of Tulsa, Oklahoma. He has a record of eight wins and two losses. He's one of the most versatile competitors in WWL and a fierce tactician at the table. He is the Hell Razor, Jeff Hale! Yeah. <laughs> You yeah. think he's fired up? Yeah, I love it. He comes out, does Jeff Hale, and he's wearing the shoes that were made famous by Sean Penn in Fast Times at Ridgemont High when he was Jeff McCoy. I love the bands. Great selection. I like his style, and uh, it's going to be very interesting to see how his match style comes up into play here because uh, I'm very excited for this matchup. Watch this. And our money girl tonight is Bridget Rose. She'll put down the cold hard cash on the table that these men are competing for here tonight. And there it is, a stack of hundos. Let me tell you this, Ben, these guys are good friends off the table, but when that money gets thrown down and the pressure's on the line, they're not gonna be so friendly right here. Watch this, fireworks about to set off. Here we go. Our referee tonight is Mike Fontenot. He's assisted by Jesse Gonzalez. Here That's we the go. Five. Mike setting them up. Palm, a little bit for me. Let's take a listen. Close your thumbs. Close your hands. Go! Elbow. Oh! Wow, Jamie with the big hit in the slip. One elbow foul. Okay. Elbow running foul One called on foul. Jeff. Yes. No big deal, but you know. Three fouls, you lose the pull. Jamie Sheldon. And I think Jamie just gained some confidence. He kept his hand, he felt strong, he felt good. He never felt like he got in a bad position. I'm looking for Jamie to have uh, maybe an edge in this round. They'll go to the straps. I don't know about you, but looking at Jamie Sheldon, does he look 38 years old to you? He doesn't. He, he looks does about it. 28. That's what I told him. So, yeah. yeah, I asked him. I'm like, hey, yeah. you're like my age, right? First appearance for Sheldon here in the Superman Showdown series. The second. As you mentioned, for Jeff Hale, he lost pretty handily. Sam Harris beat him pretty handily in Cleveland. Yeah, but now Jeff's coming back, fired up, looking for redemption, and uh, I'm really excited to see this matchup because they haven't pulled in about five years or so, Ben. So even though they know each other, this is a very foreign uh, feeling to both of them to yeah. pull each other. It was six years ago, and Hale ran right through him. Yeah, but here we go. Here we go. Be the difference here. Straighten this, just a tad for me. Close your hands. No. False start. Interesting. False start. I'm waiting to hear the call. False start on Jeff. Two fouls on you now. I believe. Here we go. All right, keep Let's the elbows down. Mike. Wait till I say go. Go straighten this, baby. Just a tad for me. Close your thumbs. Close your hands. Go! Oh, Jeff with the, oh! Jamie with the hit, but Jeff with the stop. This is a very pivotal point right here. What's gonna happen? The brakes are on the by Jeff Hale. On. But Jeff's lost a little bit of his hand. Can Jamie get on top of his arm right here? Can he get on top of his arm with his shoulder? And can he get behind his arm is the key question I have right now in this match. This is pivotal. Right here, look at this moment. Can Jeff get, get behind his arm? Might have been a running foul, Ben. I yes. Know. It, 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 it is. 
Keep pulling. Jamie not giving up. Jamie won't let it go. Jeff with a hit. Come Jeff back. With a reversal. Jeff Hale. Wow. Round one. Huge for his confidence after the disappointment he had in Cleveland takes a one nothing lead. And as we do in all these super match showdown series events, 90 seconds between pulls. Let's take a look at this replay. Jamie had position at first, but then he his wrist started to go, his hand started to go, and guess what? Jeff Hale, he put the brakes on, and then he put the power down and got the reverse pin. And the reacts from the Hale Razor yeah. comes from a family of geologists. Very smart man, as you saw in that piece, and very determined, very established guy. It was, it was a couple years that he hadn't arm wrestled until he came back when we saw him in Cleveland. That's not easy to do, is it? Hale was at the top of the lightweight ranks. You're talking on a world level a few years ago. Yeah. Of course, family, job, all these other factors come in. Do you lose your edge or do you come back and regain the mountaintop? So that's the big question for Jeff Hale. Is he still on top of the mountain or did he lose his edge? And yeah. Jamie Shelton's trying to answer that. Yeah. Jamie Shelton was the WAL 2015 California state champ in the lightweight with the right hand. He's, he's beaten a lot of top lightweight guys, but pedigree versus pedigree, Jeff Hale is the more seasoned, you know, big achievement, beating the best of the best type of guy. So I would say Jamie's the underdog, but man, right now at this point, it's, any, it's okay. still anyone's match. Yep. So that's your third foul. Mike, you're gonna be are you with you up here? I didn't even no. foul the first time. And I talked no. to Jamie before three, this match, and he told fouls. me, look, I went back to the basics. Jason, I went back so the to third strength foul training, was committed heavy lifting. Before the pin. And he was so trying to just bring all the power he could Shelton versus Jeff Hale. So it's been overturned. Mike Fontenot there, the referee, saying that there was a third foul called on Jeff Hale. And according to what Fontenot just said Don't there, the pin. it's a one-nothing the lead for okay. Sheldon. Wow. I don't. Thumbs up, palm to palm. Wow, I don't know about that one, but I'm not going to get into it. I respect the referee's calls, and Thumbs let's get into round two. One zero, Sheldon. Let's Here see what we go, happens. Max. Close your thumbs. I think Jeff's going to have a little extra fire knowing about that call. Close your hands. I would think. No. Oh. Big hit. Jeff holding him. Jeff keeping his hand. Neither guy, neither guy wants to let go. Wow, this is, a, this is a great round. Neither guy, oh! Is that a win for Jamie? That's a pin, winner. Wow, yes. And winner, two Jamie nothing Sheldon lead. to nothing. Unbelievable. Wow. Wow. You know what, that's called seizing the moment. Jamie saw, Jamie saw a window of opportunity. He said, let me put everything I have down to the pin. Look at this replay. Take a look. Take a look, Ben. Jeff's feeling comfortable, his hand's not compromised, he hits over to the side, he's feeling great. But guess what, Jamie switches up his technique. Watch his wrist drop right here. He drops under, he presses. He uses his tricep to press down, and Jeff knows it. He got caught, he got caught napping right here. Bam, press down to the pad, his wrist hit it. That's it, round two, Jamie Sheldon. So Sheldon with a two nothing lead, and we, Look at that reaction. Yeah, he's a happy young man. Still can't believe he's 38, but yeah, he is. And right. They're already back at the table with 45 seconds remaining on this 90-second clock. They want it. They want it, and, and let me tell you what's going to happen All right, here. guys. Jeff ready? Hale's going to come back in a fury. I do not see Hale losing 3-0. Mike you know, Fontenot competitive for that. Watch this right round. There. Mike Fontenot gets him set. Close your thumbs. Close your hands. Go! Jeff Hale rising. Jeff Hale with the hand control. That might have been a pin. What's the call? No word yet. That's one elbow foul before the pin. So we got to strap up. One elbow foul before the pin. Yes. There was a pin. There was a pin. Let me be clear. 
elbow foul before the pin. Take a look at this replay here. <laughs> Don't foul. Don't foul and pin him. You get your win. Jeff Hale collecting, collecting. He takes his hand. He's on top. He's got the leverage. Here we go. He presses down. It appears that he, he's right there at the pinpoint. But Jamie Sean's able to slip away and get the straps right here. So it remains 2-0 Sheldon. The foul on Jeff Hale as Mike Fontenot and Jesse Gonzalez, the two referees, apply the strap. Ben, I don't got to tell you how important this round is. It's huge. If Hale loses, it's over. Yeah. So this round means everything to both these guys. Either Sheldon comes out on top 3-0, or Hale is making one heck of a comeback right here. Let's see what happens. All right, guys. Double down. Here we go. Oh, yeah. The crowd's getting into this one. Great turnout here, here at the Norma. Close your thumbs. One foul. Let's hear Mike with no the call. Foul. Close your thumbs. Keep your elbows on the pads. Stop moving. Hold that. Close your hands. Go! Oh, Jeff Hale. Jeff has his hand. Jeff has his hand. Jamie's in the bad spot. Watch this. Watch the reversal. Watch the counter move right here, Ben. Watch the counter by Jeff Hale right here. Foul was called on Hale. Shelly foul? Wow. He did, trying to put Jeff Hale away. Here it comes. Here's the counter. Bam! And oh, part two. Hale with the pin. Is it on the run? do that. You had a foul. That's the call. You heard the call. Yes. Running foul does not count because, let me explain, because Ben. All right, we're going to tighten his draft now. If fouls and lifts his elbow, and he gets the pin, he's now. not two awarded hell, due to the running elbow. foul rule. We're going to restart In other words, in you have to get a clean pin without fouling for it to count. If you foul and you win, it's a restart. Yes. Elbows down. Here we go. Sheldon can win this in a clean Close sweep. Keep your wrist flat. Close your hands. Go! Jeff with position. Jeff with position. Hale. Wow. So Hale stays alive. It's 2-1 now here. 2-1, and let me tell you what a momentum shift. Big ben. time. This could be an insane comeback by Hale. He got a spot, and now his confidence is building. I did it before I even back in the day. I'm going to do it again. My boy didn't come right now. So he's said his piece there. He's got an interesting motto. His motto is losing is the key to winning, but we're going to look back first before I get a reaction from you out of that. Well, that was just technically on point. Jeff Hale positions his hand better, takes the pronation angle, bam, straight through the fingers of Jamie Sheldon to the pad. And we'll take a look now in between these poles here. The vital stats, what do these all mean, Max? Well, the power is just, you're talking arm power straight to the pad. Hand and wrist, you're just talking about the ability to keep your hand from bending back and your wrist and stay neutral or straight in the match. Top roll, straight over the top through the fingers. Hook, cupping inside, turning the match inside. And really, the numbers come down to the table IQ. Who's smarter, right, who's better? Let's do this again, settle down. All right, so palm to palm, hands a 2 1 lead for Jamie Sheldon on the right. Jeff Hale trying to come back from come a 2 0 hole. Bit. And this round is pivotal. I've said it before, Close but Jeff here wins here. Massive That's momentum good. shift. Or no Jamie question. ends it. Let's see what happens. Are you surprised at how quickly they wanted to get up at the table? They haven't used the whole time. Pad. Close your hands. Go! <laughs> Jamie with the hit, but Jeff catches it. Jeff catches. Wow. wow. And turns him in and two presses. Two. Evened it up. In, two to two. Come what a start. In, what a start to the Virginia Norfolk WAL Championship event, Super Match Series. It's gotta be the shoes. <laughs> Let's see the replay And a right lot here. of talent, all kidding aside. Yes, we'll look back. You see the replay, Jeff gets a little bit higher, clamps down on the top fingers of Sheldon. Bam, right there. That's leverage, that's arm wrestling 101. That's what they teach you from day one. Look at the reaction from Jeff Hale. He knows it. 
the confident man that feeds off that confidence. It don't matter who wins. He's an aggressive, in your face guy, as you see there. There's mutual respect here. These guys are friends off the table, but make no mistake, right now, with everything on the line in round five, they're ready to kill. Let's see who wants it more right here. You heard Mike oh, Monno. No, this is for the money. Round five. All the marbles on the table. All in. All the chips are in. Let's oh, see who wants it. Cash down. Flat. Come on. Flat hands. Close your thumbs. Don't cover his knuckle right there. Close your hands. No. That did not take long. Wow. Jeff Hale, just like that, flash. Three, two. What a, a, a what a big win! What a statement! Wow. Then let's take a look at the replay of what Jeff just did. That was impressive. And look at the celebration to follow. You gotta love it. How we do it? Yeah. Hale. Mike Fontenot handing him the cash as we look back, Max. Man, this was an intense matchup, but Hale just found the silver bully, found the angle, he found what would work, and then he just played those cards until he got dealt the winning hand. Oh, that's a great picture. Jason Fisher's always in the zone. He's with our winner. Can I have Smelling money, Jason, it's all yours. Oh. Wow. That was amazing. Jeff's feeling good. He gave me $100 already. That's amazing. Thank you, Jeff. Jeff, what a way to start WAL 404. Now, talk a little bit. We know this is a physical sport, but talk about the mental side. You had to be mentally tough there to go down 0-2 when you thought you had won the first round. How did you pull? Where did you pull from to stay in this thing and pull out a victory? Listen, this is my game, okay? I can do this all night. I've been telling, I've been telling fools for years. I'm going to cut you up and bleed you out. You can't, you can't mess with me on the table. If it goes five rounds, it's game over for you, baby. Game over. Wow. Well, Jeff can talk the talk and walk the walk. You got the crowd on your side. Congratulations. What a way to start off. Here, take your 100 bucks back. You deserve it all. <laughs> That's amazing. Congrats. Let's go back to the table. Thank Congrats, you, Jason. Yeah, thanks to Jeff Hale. What an exciting start to our Supermatch Showdown Series. 404. Jamie Sheldon had a 2-0 lead, but the Hale Razor, Jeff Hale, came back and raised some hail, and he wins it 3-2.